Peace, 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 little light of healing, peace, little light of healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth. Y'all climb on in, climb on in the building. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Y'all see what we got up here today? It's titled Three Superfoods That Will Quickly and Drastically Improve Your Health. We're going to talk about three superfoods that's going to blow your mind. We're going to break down the science to these three superfoods. We're going to get into the biochemistry of these three superfoods, the chemical compounds of these three superfoods. And I suggest that y'all really start incorporating this in y'all daily diets like ASAP. Starting tomorrow, when you wake up in the rising and you do your H3O2 hydration or your H2O spring water electrolytes, once that sun be the highest in the sky between 12 and 3, that's when you get your first meal in. I suggest that this should be a major part of your plate, family. So y'all climb on in. Climb on in. Climb on in. How y'all feeling? Peace, gods. Peace, goddesses and earths. Shalom, shalom, lacha. Ya pa, mishpati. My beautiful family. How y'all doing? When y'all in and y'all got some pens and y'all got some pads, you already know. Type in some nines and we'll get it started. I want to show y'all some chemicals inside of y'all foods that we cannot avoid. It's essential that we eat these uh, bioflavonoids. It's essential that we eat these, you know, phytochemicals or what we'll call phytonutrients or biophotons, these light code frequencies in these foods. Because as I was talking to y'all about yesterday, we are electrical beings. So the more we get minerals in us, the more we get simple amino acid structures and the more we get monosaccharides or what we call simple sugars in us, that create a conduit for electricity can flow properly with ease. Now, energy can flow properly with ease. But the moment we start blocking up energy, we are at dis-ease. So the whole thing is to open up the meridian pathways, to open up all the detoxification channels or the sewage system channels in our bodies, whether we're talking about meridian pathways, whether you're talking about the NRF2 pathway, uh, or whether you're talking about the lymphatic vessel pathway. Long as these pathways are opened up and we are able to get metabolic waste, which creates metabolic acidosis out of the body, our body will actually maintain a balance of what I call my art or what the allopathic community call homeostasis. But in order for us to do that, we have to constantly be detoxifying what we metabolize. And that is our issue. And that's the reason why we constipated cellularly, cellularly. And that's the reason why we sick. Because we eat in food that doesn't help us eliminate. You're supposed to truly, truly eat to eliminate. If you truly look where your, most of your nutrition come from, because, you know, nutrition is a very misunderstood uh, word anyway. Misunderstood, misoverstood, and misunderstood. Uh, it's a two-folded definition to it. Nutrition is food that's supposed to create elimination pathways inside of your body. Phytonutrients is something different from real nutrition. Phytonutrients is basically compounds and different elements you breathe in through drawing in breath that's going to help you maintain and rebuild the molecular structure. So when you eat a food, you're supposed to be looking at your food like, okay, how long would this food take to digest in my system? How long would this food take to break down in my system? Will this food provide me energy? And is this energy going to be used to turn on glutathione, glutathione? Is it going to be uh, used to turn on the NRF2 pack? Pathway? Is it going to kick the uh, the the thyroid gland to turn on tryptophan? Is, is tyrosine going to turn on for my body can start purging everything that it just went through? Because whenever you put something in your mouth and you chew it, the moment that it hit the hydrochloric acid in your stomach and it goes to this small non-inch intestinal tract that we call the duodenum or the duodenum, once it picks up all of that nutrients, the metabolic process starts on a cellular level. So you have to realize whenever you utilize energy or whenever you use any type of energy, there's a byproduct or a blowback that come from it. Usually it's a cationic blowback uh, or sometimes you get an anionic blowback. We notice that most of the cationic blowbacks are acidic in nature and we see that most of the anionic blowbacks become alkaline forming. So we have to understand that our body is already made of a lot of acid. You have DNA, which stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid. Your, the, your DNA is made of what you will call amino acid structures or amino acid groups that we call protein. So you got DNA, which is deoxyribose nucleic acid. You have amino acids, which is a bunch of another acids. And then your body is actually acidic and functioning in form. So when your body is going through all these different metabolic processes through the system, 
system when you're eating and drinking food, it's acidic, just like the hydrochloric acid in your stomach help you break down your food. So if there is not one function in your body other than the first alkaline breakdown in your mouth, which is amulose amulase, that is an actual alkaline secretion. Your blood is alkaline, cholesterol is alkaline, the mucosa membrane is alkaline, the lymphatic system is alkaline. And then you again, you got alkaline enzymic secretions in your mouth. Other than that, family, everything else in your body is acidic. You see that? So if everything else in your body is acidic, which is the building blocks of what they call the amino, the amino acids that create proteins that build your tissues, that's acidic. You see what I'm saying? When you actually look at exosomes and lysosomes, this represents the actual digestive system of each individual cell. That's acidic because the exosome creates the lysosomes. The lysosomes have this type of liquid secretion inside of it to help you break down the food that your cell is actually eating. When you're going through something called cellular respiration and oxygen is being turned into this water molecule and then turned into uh, carbon dioxide, this is an acidic process. So we see that all the major functions inside of our bodies that keep us in a balance of homeostasis is acid based family it's acid it's, it's it's acidic so if we know that our body is already naturally uh, uh, acidic and the only reason why the doctors and the allopathic community teaches us that our body is alkaline is because the two major fluid or what they call interstitial fluid in our body is actually alkaline truly your body is more acidic than it is alkaline and your body actually have a function, a acidic functioning than it does alkaline. So since we know that, that means we need to be eating food that is truly alkaline forming all the time. We should never take a break from eating alkaline forming food. We shouldn't play around with it because we already know that all these acidic uh, mediums is happening in our body on the natural occurrence every day. So the only way we can combat that is make sure that we eat in food that's a limited. We got to eat food that we know for a fact is going to open up the meridian pathways, open up the lymphatic system, open up the kidneys, open up the skin to get all this metabolic acidosis out of our body. If not, it's going to eat us alive, family. It's going to eat us alive. So I want to show you all these three superfoods that's going to do exactly that. And, and you don't have to just incorporate this every day. A small, just start with a small little section on your plate every day and start doing this. All right, and then it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna make a lot of sense, y'all. So if y'all ready to get started, type in some nines. And of course, it's gonna be fruits, y'all. Of course, y'all already know, but do y'all know what fruits? And we're gonna break this down, y'all. Let me show y'all the actual chemical composition. And I actually do got a few questions that a few people want me to uh read. So at the end of this, I'm gonna read some questions that I got through my DM. These are questions actually from my DM on Instagram. So. Uh, let's get to it. Type in some nines and we're going we gonna to get to work, y'all. We're going to get to work. So I'm going to go and tell y'all the fruits first, and then we're going to break down the science on why these fruits are so amazing. Matter of fact, no, I'm going to tell y'all the fruits later. I ain't going to even, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all the fruits later. Before we do that, let's actually talk about why I'm even bringing this up in the first place. So hold on, family. Let me get this ready for y'all. I was going to go live on my YouTube and do it on my YouTube, but Instagram been showing me so much love lately, all of y'all, all of the followers. So I'm like, look, let me go and do an exclusive real quick. All right. So this is a piece of one of my many lectures that I do at the universities, the, the HBCUs university. I'm going to just give y'all a little piece of this. And I want to show you how you can literally stop aging so fast because we know that people do not die of old age. That's, that's a, a bunch of crock. You don't die of old age. You die of dis-ease. You die of oxidative stress. You die of heart failure. You die of kidney failure. You die of pancreas obstructions. You die of obstructed prolapse colons and bowel walls. We die of dis-ease because our energy is not flowing properly, meaning your aging process is a dis-ease. So literally aging, y'all can look this up. We can look up the government articles and everything if you don't believe me. Aging is a dis-ease, family. And that's how you know that time is really a Illusion, and when you buy into that illusion, the biology of belief, y'all look up Dr. Bruce Lipton. He talk about this all the time. He have a book called The Biology of Belief, and he shows scientific proof and evidence that if you believe something, it will actually change your genes and, would ch and it will change the way that your cells interact with the environment. So if you believe that you get older every year, you're going to start showing that in and in, in manifesting that in the physical plane, y'all. So we have to really change our belief, and that's the reason why we have to look at disease differently. We 
we have been taught disease in the wrong way, family. And that's why when you get a disease, you automatically think it's a death sentence when it's not. Diseases are nothing but your body having a magnificent uh, miracle way of trying to detoxify and heal itself. These come sometimes with pain. The symptomology from this pain is what the allopathic community actually call pathology and call diseases. But it's actually the body trying to rid itself of all of the systemic blowback and toxemia that the body have been build, building up just by living its everyday life and going through its everyday cycle and metabolic processes, family. Straight up. So check this out. That's right. I am aging backwards. I love that. So if you see what I'm seeing. Uh, we are actually looking at a screen. Y'all know I'm in my studio. We're looking at a screen and we see this Aboriginal American man, melanated, fully melanated. And you see a lot of different types of uh, sequences or what you would call DNA codes across his face. And like I tell everybody when I go to the colleges and do my lectures, you know, you might see a dark skinned brother. But when I look at you and I'm reading your face and I'm reading your eyes and I'm doing my iridology reading, I'm looking at the DNA. I'm looking at the code. So when you go into this code, let me show you how this works. So we have something called chromosomes. And what a chromosome is, a chromosome is an entire chain of DNA along with a group that stabilize in protein. So when you think about DNA, remember that I said DNA stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid. DNA is literally the blueprint to the cells. You have a DNA for your nose. You have DNA to make up your eyes. You have DNA to make up your fingernails. You have DNA to make up your pigmentation. You have DNA and genes that, that tell you the color of your eyes, how short you're going to be, how tall you're going to be. All of this is genes. These genes are wrapped up in what you would call strings or strands. These strands are wrapped up and combined in proteins. These proteins, when they combine themselves into a structure, we call it DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid. And the crazy part about it, when you break down DNA, like I broke down yesterday for y'all, DNA is made of amino acids, but it's stuck together by what you would call minerals. And then these minerals stick these amino acids together. And guess what the backbone of the DNA is? Sugar, showing you the three essential, essential things we need to live a life of homeostasis. We need sugar. Sugar is carbon. Carbon is actually alkaline. Carbon is alkaline, family. You see that? Now, if they bleach it and turn the sugar into bleach white flour, bleach white sugar and oxidize it and stuff like that, of course, it's going to have an acidic nature to it. But sugar is alkaline. Carbon is alkaline. Sugar, carbon and melanin are the same things. Then you have amino acids that makes up the DNA. That is acidic. Then you have minerals. These minerals are mixed with cations and anions, meaning you have alkaline minerals and you actually have mucus acidic forming minerals as well. So we see that the body is always balanced. It's a a mixture between acidity and it's a mixture between alkaline all right now check it out all of this stuff right here so we see that the body uh make chromosomes these chromosomes is dna so dna is wrapped around these chromosomes y'all dna is wrapped around these chromosomes all right. Now, when you unravel a chromosome, you start seeing something called histines. And these are histines right here. And you see the information is being unraveled. Right. And then you have timelines or time capsules with inside of the DNA that's packed with more information called histines. OK, so we see that the, this is the chromosome. The chromosome is being unraveled. The histine is being revealed. We see Jacob's ladder. This is a ladder. And this is what the Melakim in Hebrew, they call them ang angels or angles of light or what we're going to call the messenger, the mRNA or what you will literally call melanin neurotransmitters that actually go up and down this letter and communicate with the DNA strand. Remember, I always tell you that the Bible is always talking about you. You see that? Now, let's talk about a histone. So it says a histone is a protein that provides structural support for a chromosome. Each chromosome contains a long molecule of DNA. So the DNA must wrap around the histone to have a support system. And there's a reason why I'm going through all of this first before I show you how magnificent these three superfoods is, family, which must fit in the cell nucleus. Now, the nucleus means the new sun. Everybody been teaching us since kindergarten that the nucleus of a cell is the actual brain of the cell but we found out that that's a complete lie if you are certified biochemistry if you in biology and you messing with cells in these petri dishes you know that the actual membrane around the cell the protective mucosa membrane around the cell which is nothing but cholesterol that is the actual brain of the cells because that's what actually interacts with the environment and that's what takes on the signals or receptors and whatever take on the signals and receptors and tell the cells what 
what to do is the brain. See that? So the nucleus of the cell where the genes and where the DNA at don't tell the cells anything about what to do. It just holds the blueprint of how the cells supposed to be. Okay, this is an eye cell. So when you look at the nucleus of the cell, it act as the gonads or what you would call the nuts of the cell. Inside the cell, you got the semen. They call it the DNA. But the brain is the actual capsulated part around the cell. And it's important while we talk about this because your food must speak to the cellular membrane. Your food must speak to the DNA. And we're eating foods that's not doing none of that. We just eating foods because it tastes good. We have to understand that the food we eat must actually interact with the cells of our body. Tell our cells to do A, B, C, or D. Showing you that food is true information. Y'all see that? Let me turn it back around. Now check out how powerful the DNA is. It says deoxyribonucleic acid is a self-replicating material. Notice what it is. It's a self-replicating material, which is present in nearly all living organisms as a main constituent of chromosomes. All right. It is the carrier of genetic information. So the first thing your, D your DNA do, it carries genetic information. Not only does it does that, it has instructions in it used for growth and development, functioning and reproduction. So that's why when you see a cell die off, what happens is the RNA or the ribosome will take a photograph picture of DNA, then it will shoot it to the cell, to the, actually the cellular membrane, and then you get a new birth from a cell out of that, showing you that the membrane of the cell is actually the brain, but the gonads, or what you would call the nutsack of the cell, is the nucleus. It says, if you took a DNA, if you took the DNA from all the cells in your body, and you lined it up end to end, it will form a strand 6,000 million miles long. This is how much information you have inside of you, family, but very, very thin. To store this information material, DNA molecules are tightly packed around amino acid compounds called proteins. See that? These histines can make structures called chromosomes. So this is how much information, and this is where you get something called the Akashic Records from. You know, a lot of people talk about the Akashic Records, and the Akashic Records is basically an infinite intelligent uh, uh, library with inside of your DNA that they label junk DNA, but if you activate it through breath work, if you activate it through mono fruit, fruit fasting, if you activate it through stimulating your pineal gland, if you activate it to uh, AMT, uh, ADP uh, peroxidase and just doing all things to fire off your cells real fast, you can actually open up this cosmic library and all information will be available to you at the snap at the snap of a finger, meaning every language already exists inside of your DNA. You just haven't unraveled that DNA and tapped into it yet. Every event that ever happened in existence, the, the past, future and the present because it's only really the present now all of this information is already in you see what the prophets do and that's why they say oh you got a gift of prophecy now you do have a gift of prophecy but you have the ability to tap in the sequence of your genes and your dna to open up the akashic records or the or what you would call the actual akashic library to go to a specific timeline and recall an event that's prophecy. All oh, this is within us y'all we are the gods and goddesses of this realm and i can't i can't speak that enough and we see this right now. Now, look, check this out. It says 1.5 gigabytes times 100 trillion cells, 150 trillion gigabytes or 150 times 10, 12 times 9 bytes of zettabytes. So you have 150 zettabytes in your body. Do y'all understand how much information that is that's inside of you? You literally are a walking simulation or a walking computer that holds millions and millions and millions and millions of hard drives of information. That's why knowledge is power, because you get true power when you unlock it. What if I tell you that there are three superfoods that can help you do that? And this, and this is not about money. If it was about money, I would say it was the three herbs and body's herbs for me. I'm not even talking about herbs. I'm talking about three superfoods that I don't produce or that I don't make. You can go buy them from the store. You can pick them from your garden, or you can go to your local farmer's market to get it. This is just free information to stimulate the minds of my people. That's all this is. You see what I'm saying? So it behooves us to really, really listen to this information, family. Check this out. All right. It says DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid, the instructions within the DNA of a single cell, if written out, would fill a thousand six hundred page books. You are the book. You are the living word of God. 
You see that? If you activate the Christ consciousness within you, each cell is a world brimming with as many as 200 trillion tiny groups of atoms called molecules. It says all 46 human chromosome threads linked together would measure more than six feet. Yet the cell nucleus that contains them is less than 10 thousandths of an inch in diameter. See that? So even though you you got these small bodies, it's packed with so much information showing you the true living word of God. Ooh we we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Now, I want to talk about something that's very, very, very important to me, because remember, we're talking about chromosomes. We're talking about DNA. And at the tips of these chromosomes, you have something that's very important. And this is one of the people who found this out and figured it out. It's other people like when you get to the uh, ancient Mayans and when you get into the ancient e Egyptians or what you would call the Kemet priests, uh, when you get to the Kohanim or the priests in Hebrew, you go back to ancient Lumeria, Sumeria and Atlantis. They figured it out, too. But he figured it out with, you know, new technology. And we got to get deeper into the DNA, into the cells. His name is Dean Ornish, and he's an American uh, physician, right? Now, check this out. So what he figured out was that at the, at the tip of each chromosome, you have something called telomeres. And this, these telomeres actually is how you live your life longer. These telomeres predict your lifestyle. These telomeres tell you when you age and they tell you if you're subjective to cancer or not. Now, remember, you have these you have these amino acid structures that actually create something called the DNA. The DNA then wraps around something called histines. These histines are, are tightly compacted into chromosomes. And at the tip of the chromosomes, you have something called telomeres. Now, I'm going to show you what these telomeres do because if we can find out how to not unravel them we will stay alive longer and we will stay healthy longer like longevity will really come into our life and it's three superfoods that will help you keep the telomeres uh, tightly compacted around the chromosome which is going to keep your dna tightly inside the histines of the chromosomes see what's happening is your dna is unraveling that's the reason why your energy is not falling properly because you're leaking minerals and minerals is the conductivity or the conduit of electricity inside of the dna strand we are lessening we are lessening our, our frequencies and our hurts because we're eating low frequency food we're in low frequency relationships we're listening to low frequency music Music, we have in low frequency sex, we entertain in low frequency people, we drink in low li uh, frequency liquids. See that? We everything that we need to do need to be highly electrical, highly alkaline. That because that's what fuels your consciousness. Your consciousness is fueled by electricities, atoms. Yes, electrons, protons, neutrons, quantum. We talking about quantum science here. All these things is what fuels your consciousness. So if we can keep our consciousness fueled by highly intelligent, energetic foods, highly intelligent, energetic people, highly intelligent, energetic, structured H3O2 water, highly intelligent, energetic sex, highly intelligent, energetic conversations and music. These things will stimulate the consciousness and keep the consciousness actually going through its rev uh, evolutionary process at a balance of homeostasis. Not only that, it will help you expand your consciousness. And now you can manifest the things you want and you don't have to keep coming back in this re uh, reincarnated cycle, y'all. We're we going to keep doing this until we actually learn what we need to learn for we can go to the next level. I, me, I'm, I've been here for about 9,000 years. I'm tired of being here. I'm ready to elevate and go visit another dimension of density. It's time for me to graduate from this university. You see that? I thought a university was a college. Why is this called a university or the universe? Huh? The galactic intelligence. Is we in school? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now check this out, fam, because it gets deep. I know y'all like, y'all just tell us the three fools. Nope. We're going to y'all going to learn this first. Now, check this out. Analysis of telomere. It says length of the tele, uh, telorase activity in a tree species uh, of various lifespans and with the age of the Bristol cone pine. So, look, they looked at the pine tree and one person cut the pine tree because it was so old. It was thousands of years old. And what he noticed was it was rings inside of this tree. So what they did was, of course, what they do all the time, they scraped a little piece off of it, put it under an electronic uh, uh, thermal microscope. And they noticed that these rings were attached to chromosomes and DNA. And they found out that these, these chromosomes had shoestrings around them called telomeres. And they noticed when the shoestring around the actual chromosome start unraveling itself, oxidative stress started coming in and the tree started dying. 
So this is where this whole hypothesis turned facts came from them studying trees. And that's why I tell y'all all the time that your true classroom is what family nature It's not a man. It's not a book. Your true classroom is nature. Go into nature. Let nature be your mirror for you can look at your perfect self because you mirror nature. And then you will be to see able to be able to see the true God in you because the reflection of the divine creator is nature in you because you are a part of nature. Yes, you are a part of nature family. Check this out. Now, so now we get into the chromosome. Remember, this is the chromosome body or the chromosome skeleton. Notice that the DNA, the deoxyribose nucleic acid, is within inside of the structural skeleton of the actual chromosome. Look at the tip. These yellow tips is called telomeres or telomeres, right? Now, notice how they're or compacted like shoestring caps, all right? Now, if you look at some shoes right now, matter of fact, I got one. Let me just take my shoe off. Y'all better not be talking smack. All right, now check this out. So look, here go. This is my actual shoe. I know this is nasty, y'all. I'm gonna get my shoe off here in a minute. Look at the shoe strings or the DNA. What is holding the actual DNA together? The shoe strings together. These shoe string caps. That's the same thing that telomeres do to the DNA. This is the actual shoe string with the information. And then the telomeres are the cap of the shoestrings. Now, if I was to take this cap off, y'all, what would happen to my shoestrings? Wouldn't they start unraveling? Notice how beautifully braided this shoestring is. The moment that I take the shoestring, shoestring cap off, this beautifully braided shoestring is going to start unraveling. That's the same thing that happens to your DNA when the telomere caps come from up off of your DNA. All right. Now, guess what makes this cap come off, y'all? Eating bad food. Eating acidic forming foods, smoking, you see that? Drinking alcohol, not mindful breathing throughout the day, and not eating these three superfoods that we're going to talk about. All right? Now, it says what we lose with age. So this just show you this. Remember, this is the chromosome. Inside the chromosome is the DNA. These little black spots is the telomeres. These are the shoestring caps that keep the DNA from unraveling. The whole thing is to protect the deoxyribose nucleic acid, y'all. Remember, that is your library. Now, you see, when cells go through their cell divided or go, they go through something called mitosis or meiosis or cellular apoptosis, you notice, notice you start losing the telomeres. See that telomeres in caps that protect the chromosome. Let me say that again. Telomeres in caps that protects the chromosome. Now, look, check this out. Telomeres shorten and eventually cell division stops. So every time you age or every time you you do things to age yourself, you start wearing and tearing the telomeres from the actual chromosome, which will eventually unravel and damage the DNA. Oh, we, we got to talk about it, family. We got to talk about it. Aging process. Telomeres shorten with age. Look at these beautiful telomeres. Look at all the information. The Kashik uh, library, tightly compacted. Then you get older and older because you're aging because the foods you're eating. You aging because the air pollutants. You aging because the one percenters in the government is literally killing us through biochemical weaponized warfare, through, you know, laboratory created STDs to all these different things, tainting our water. Y'all see what just happened in Ohio, how that train derailed, and then all of a sudden, all of these biohazard chemicals is all in our skies and pollutants is all in the water. And then y'all see what happened today at the nuclear complex in uh in Tennessee? Did y'all peep what happened today at the nuclear complex in Tennessee? All of a sudden, it caught on fire. Then I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, where which one of the big, biggest nuclear reactors is, is in a, uh, dang, Kawhi, what, what, what is that called? Over there by the casino. Earth City, Earth City, Missouri, 20 minutes away from here is one of the biggest unstable nuclear reactors in the world, y'all, in my, in, my, in my state. So so look, is that going to blow up next? Because all of a sudden we see strateg strate uh, strategically all around the United States, all of the nuclear reactors are blowing up. All the biohazardous chemicals are derailing and spilling, all is spilling in the oceans. Oh, we have the biggest 
metrotons of oil spilled in the ocean because a ship went down because the engine failed. You start to look, you like, man, this look like this shit is actually being planned out and y'all are purposely doing this shit. And then now you got to really start asking yourself, why are they built? Why is the rich building and the wealthy building all these bunkers? Why are gas masks actually at an all time high? Yes, gas masks. They are tripling the prices because the rich and the wealthy are buying them off the shelves. Why you can't find ammunition nowhere? What is really going on and what are they planning for? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, here go the actual Bristol Cone Pine Forest tree that I was telling you about. This taught us so much about our molecular structure is crazy. And this was what is going to bring me to the point of talking about these three foods that I'm going to be talking about. All right. Now, we see that the DNA. Now, remember, this is the DNA structure. This is what you'll call a sugar backbone. All right. So this is what is made of a pentose, a five backbone sugar phosphate. All right. So when every when it, when people talk bad about sugar, sugar is bad. No processed sugar is bad. Sugar is essential for your cells. Sugar is carbon. Without sugar, you would die. Sugar is melanin and your sugar is what holds your actual amino acids together with minerals. So you got the sugar. Then you have the amino acids or what you would call proteins. And you see the little fingers. This is minerals like zinc, like selenium like copper, like gold, like calcium triphosphate, holding all of the amino acid structures together. This then wraps around, these nucleotides wrap around a histine, and then they actually get compacted in strings called a chromosome. And guess what, cap them off, family? Your telomeres. Your telomeres. All right, let's keep it going. Because I want to show y'all. Now, this is the last part before I start getting into what I was talking about here. Now, what holds this amino acids together is what you would call mineral. You see, you got calcium, you got zinc, you got magnesium, you got sodium bicarbonate, you got selenium, you got iron, you got all of the, you got phosphorus. All these things is actually what holds the DNA molecule of the DNA structure together, showing you that you're supposed to be eating mineral dense foods. That's why it's very, very important to have minerals and to have nucleotides and to have a amino acids inside of your foods family not these processed foods where they actually process all these things out because you're eating nothing and then you're eating nothing but the processed blowback of them they straight acidic going in and acidic going out this will kill your telomeres this will murder and damage your dna all right and I think we're going to leave it right there. Matter of fact, I'll go to this one right here and show y'all. So now and I showed y'all in this in one of my lectures. So when so notice this beautifully packed DNA. Look at the man. Y'all happy. Well, this actually look like a damn demon. But look, he looked like a happy demon, right? And he got all of his actual structures. The actual integrity of his DNA look flawless. Then all of a sudden, he start eating food that is missing minerals. Say calcium start missing. Say zinc start missing. Now the DNA structure have broke the telomeres off the chromosomes, so the DNA starts unraveling. This is where sickness and dis-ease kick in at. Notice he didn't go on a diet. Notice he didn't start eating herbs. He didn't go on the detoxification or a fast. He didn't switch over into an all fruit diet. He didn't go on a solid food vacation and start taking in H3O2 juice water. So since he didn't change his diet and he kept eating the processed foods that didn't have any phytonutrients or didn't have any amino acids in it, the cellular structure actually breaks in half. And this is what you would call cellular death. This is how you die, family. You die through aging, and aging is a dis-ease. These are facts, family. These are straight-up facts. Now, if y'all got that so far, type in some nines, and we're going to go to the next part. Now it's time to start getting in this food. Y'all got that so far, type in some nines, we're going to go to the next part. Didn't that look like a demon, y'all? <laughs> Blackface and everything. Yeah. Quick commercial, real quick, quick commercial. If you need any type of healing constituents, any type of healing herbs, uh, you need to come to the clinic, anything. Uh, you can actually go to the website, www.yakiawaken.com. What you would do is when you get there, you would click on herbal store. Notice under our herbal store, we have consultations. You click on the consultations, you can book a consultation with us. The consultations will be with Kawhi. I taught her personally. She is phenomenal with the information. She have her own healing testimonies and all of that, y'all. So y'all will talk to Kawhi. It's a different fee if you want to talk to me because I'm so busy, but you don't need to talk to me. You can actually talk to Kawhi because she's amazing and I taught her everything I know. From there, you can actually get herbal capsules. You can get geogenetic therapy, which is what we use 
used to reverse all types of so-called ailments. You got teas, powders, seaweed, kits and bundles, tonics, oils, hygiene and soaps, and we even sell whole herbs, y'all. This website is full of information. The new one is done. We're just working out the kinks to actually launch it. But look, on this website, you can click on the muscular system. It will teach you and tell you about your tissues. The integumentary system, it will tell you about your skin, skeleton system, nervous system, urinary system, digestive system. You can learn about me, who I am. Just go to my account details. Questions and answers are on here. Everything that you need possibly to find out how to heal the body is on this. You don't even have to buy my herbs. You can go on there and get the ingredients off my herbs for all I care. I just want my people healed, family. So if you need any type of healing modalities, any type of healing whatsoever, www.yakiawaken.com. And that concludes the commercial. All right, now let's get to it, y'all. Let me show y'all this. So what I'm talking about in these foods, y'all, these foods are amazing. And I want to break down why I love these foods so much. Much I eat these foods all the time. And the first thing on the uh, food list is going to be my berries. Berries, berries, berries. Whether we're talking about strawberries, whether we're talking about blackberries, whether we're talking about red raspberries, whether we're talking about blueberries, whether you talk any berry you can name, hawthorn berries, which is what we use for the heart. These things are very, very antioxidative. They, they are amazing to the body. They're oxygenators. They literally bring oxygen straight through the to the brain by way of the bloodstream. And there are chemicals inside of these called bioflavonoids or flavonoids that will blow your mind once we get into these things. Now, I know you asking the question. The next one was mangoes, y'all. So my first one is berries. My next one is mangoes. And then the one after that is melons, y'all. So we have berries. And grapes are a part of berries, y'all. A lot of people think that grapes are not a part of berries. Grapes are berries. Cherries are berries, too. These are all part of the berry family. Out of the berry family, my favorite berry or globe berry will actually be the, the grape that grow from the vine. I love that. I love that. The only reason why they classify that as a different fruit because it, grow, it grows in a vineyard. But if you look at the actual structure of a grape, it is a berry family. It is a very, I'm a food forensic investigator for real, for real. I do. This is my whole life, my whole life. How you think I know about caryopsis? How you think I know about Akeem groups? How you think I know about the lagoon pod group? I can name every, I can name all the groups to every fruit and vegetable that you wouldn't even know it had a name to it. All right. So what I want to show y'all is these things have something magnificent in them and it's all in the color of this y'all. And what the name of this is, is literally called anthocyanins, anthocyanins. And what anthocyanin is, is actually a bioflavonoid compound that actually turn the, the, make the red color in the strawberries. It actually make this melanated uh, purple color or black color in your blackberries. It makes this deep red color in your raspberries. It makes this blue color inside of your actual uh, blueberries. And this Anthocyanins actually act as melanin. And I want to show y'all some government articles on this stuff, just, just in case y'all think I'm lying. And it's, it's amazing what it does to the body. So if you look at melanin in the body, melanin acts as a polymer. It's a buffering, neutralizing system. Uh, melanin is unstable as hell in our body. But when you start adding selenium to our melanin, it stabilizes our melanin. And this is the way we're able to eat the sun. And we take that condensed sunlight and it turns over into melanin. Without this melanin, you wouldn't have tyrosine. You wouldn't have a uh, phenyl alanine. You wouldn't have none of the actual amino acid structures you need to synthesize and, and translate or transcript DNA. So melanin is very, very, very important. You got eel melanin, field melanin, neural melanin, cosmic melanin, crystallized melanin called magnetites in your brain, gasified melanin that you see when you look up in the air. So melanin is literally the, 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 what I would call the, the God particle of life. And your black ass is made of tons of it. It isn't each an individual uh, cell in your body. Not only that, melanin is so important because you need it for all biological synthesis in life, y'all. You need it. It's part of the CHO arrangement, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It, it is so very important and vital to the body that is going right now for $463 a gram. And you wonder why brothers and sisters end up missing every time. But where is they going? Why is they being kidnapped? And then when you find them, they missing their eternal, not internal, but eternal organs. And then their eternal organs is where the biological clock that synthesizes melanin is really at. So what do y'all want? Our organs or do y'all want to extract the melanin from our organs? And that's a question that we truly finna have to start asking ourselves, y'all. So check this out, family. 
Let me blow this up for y'all real quick. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me show y'all. All right. So now we talk about antioxidants and we talk about anthocyanins. And anthocyanins is what gives you that pigmentation and actually what turns your fruit these colors. And it shows you how acidic anthocyanins is and then how it turns alkaline. See, now remember I did a whole thing on broccoli and I proved that broccoli was acidic going in the mouth, but when it go through its metabolic process, it turns alkaline. Just like your apples, just like your grapes, just like your berries, just like your melons. All of these are actually acidic. 5.5 and below on the potential power hydrogen scale, but once it goes into your body and it meets itself with H3O, I mean H3O in your body and you start pulling potassium pumps and, and uh, synthesizing out and, uh, ox oxidase and peroxidase when it goes through its oxidation phase. That's where you get Leo from. Leo literally means loses electrons equal oxidation. If anybody been in biochemistry class, they teach you that. Leo. L look, lose or loss of electrons equal oxidation. So, Everything go through that inside of your body, family. So when you start eating these foods, that's what it does. But that oxidation, you have melanin to come in because it's free radicals that roam inside of your body just messing up cells. Because what, okay, if you look at an atom, family, an atom is actually made, it's an orbit. It is made of protrons, it's made of electrons, it is made of neutrons. All right, when you look at protrons, just think in your head protein. Think acidic. When you look at electron and think masculine. When you look at the electron, actually think feminine. Think nurturing, think laid back, think alkaline. Did you know when you actually study the actual molecules on a quantum uh, computer or you study it on a quantum microscope, you will see that the atom it's a proton that's constantly chasing the electron around all damn day, just like men chase women around all damn day trying to get some. Well, it wants some too, but it want to charge. So it want to borrow a negative charge for it can neutralize itself because the proton is unstable and it's acidic. So it want to alkaline itself, but the only way it can alkaline itself or bring itself into a balance of alkalinity to turn itself from a cation to an anion, it have to borrow an electrical charge, a negative electrical charge from the actual electron. And that's the reason why I say in biochemistry is different terminology. See, when, when out here in this third dimensional realm, we say that positivity is actually a good thing. But when you actually look at positivity from the biochemistry standpoint, it's a bad thing. The negative side of chemistry is the good thing in biochemistry. And the, and the positive side of biochemistry is a negative side. When you get into biochemistry and you look at an anion, these are negative charges. If you look at an electron, that's a negative charge. If you look at things that are alkaline in nature or alkaline forming, these are negative charges. But if you look at things that's corrosive, you look at things like nitrates, you look at things that's corrosive in, in nature, that's free radicals that roam around, don't have nothing governing them, just ping ponging the shit out of your cells, knocking the cellular membrane out, knocking out iron phosphate, stripping the uh, stripping uh, oxygen from hemoglobin. You start looking at that. These are all things with positive charge. So positive is really negative and negative is really positive, family. But anyways, when it's going through this process, this is called an acidic process to actually make everything alkaline forming. So you see these different colors. Look at these beautiful grapes. Look at the apple, how red it is. Look at the uh, purple potato. Look at the purple flower. Look at the purple blueberries. Look at the uh, red strawberries and the purple onions. All these things happen by way of anthocyanins. And anthocyanins is spelled A N T H. O-C-Y-I-N-I-N-S, y'all. And these things are a group of uh, uh, pheno, phenolase or, pheno, uh, or pheno, pheno, phenolytic cells or phenolytic uh, methylcarbon groups, y'all. And notice what it does. Factors affecting the stability, the temperature, the sun, oxygen, sulfates. You see that? And then the enzymic reaction is what makes it do that. But we're going to go through this whole reaction and show you how these things work, y'all. Now, check this out, family. This is actually the group, and this is what it looks like. All right, now inside this group, you have something called hydroxyl groups, and these are the hydroxyl groups inside of these plants or these flowers that produce the berries, that produce the mangoes, and that actually produces the melons that we need to get anthocyanins up out of it, for we can heal our body and we can grow our actual uh, our actual telomeres back because it will actually stabilize the free radicals inside the body. And I'm gonna show you that process too. So how you get your co your colors right? Uh, you see R one. 
All the R stands for is organic root. That's all the R stands for, organic root. Now, these organic groups can either be a methyl group, it can be a carbon sugar group, or it can be amino acid groups. Depending on how many is attached to one, they say R2, organic root 2, meaning this have a methyl group and a sugar uh, attached to it. This say R1. This might just have a carbon sugar constituent uh, attached to it. But depending on the actual number of elements that's attached to these molecules, that's how you get the different color. So if it's six uh, elements attached to this group, this is going to turn it blue, light blue. If it's uh, five of it, it's going to turn the fruit purple. If it's four of them, it's going to turn the, the fruit red. If it's three, it's going to turn the fruit orange. And these are called hydroxyl groups, y'all. Now, anthocyanins is amazing. So what happens is you have something called chal chalcone synthase, And what chalcone synthase does is it actually starts changing the color for you. Now, this only can happen through certain types of minerals that's inside the fruit. Same thing with your blood. The reason why your blood is red is because what? Iron phosphate. So if you look at an actual plant or if you look at an actual fruit and you see a red hue coming from it, that must mean they have iron phosphate. Same thing if you see a fruit that's pink, for instance, like a grapefruit, that means it has magnesium attached to the actual uh, 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 hydro group to it. You see what I'm saying? So this is how this stuff really work, y'all. Um, this is simple biochemistry. Simple bio, uh, biochemistry. Like, for instance, your bright, um, your bright blue. If you see something that's blue, like, for instance, your blueberries and, and your blackberries, these things have to actually have cobalt attached to them. And that's why if you look at mushrooms, they have that blue tin string around them. That's the cobalt that's built up in it that's changing these things into these different colors. So a lot of people ask, where, where do you get your vitamin B's from, your vitamin B12, your vitamin B9, all of your vitamin B's come from cobalt. These are what you call cobalt derivatives. See, then you got nine plant-based people that eat meat and love to eat meat since they breaking laws, transgression against nature. So they be like, well, you only can get your vitamin B's from your minerals. That's a lie. You get your vitamin B's from cobalt. Well, guess what cobalt is in? All blue and all purple and all black fruit. That's where you get your vitamin B's from. But you would have none of that without what? Anthocyanins. Anthocyanins is what actually give the fruits this pigmentation in these colors. And guess what anthocyanin is? It's an antioxidative compound, meaning that it's an antioxidant, meaning that it will reverse aging and will actually repair the telomeres that's on your chromosomes of your DNA. And you get these uh, antioxidants from berries, you get them from your mangoes, and you get them from your melons. That's cut open a melon. You're going to see a dark green color. What they call it? They call it a honeydew melon. Cut open a watermelon. You're going to see a red color. That's what you call a watermelon. Cut open uh, your cantaloupe. You're going to see orange. You see that? Always eat your fruits, colorful fruits. This is what I call nature Skittles. And nature Skittles is good for you, but these regular Skittles that's produced by all of these different companies, they killing you dead as a doorknob. You see how they getting sued because Skittles been killing Negroes? Y'all see the big lawsuits for a billion dollars that they got against these people that's creating Skittles, showing that the dye and the red dye 40 and all these other unnatural things trying to see, see all they needed was some anthocyanins. They got to create red dye and create all this other shit to, to make the Skittles in different colors. This red dye then kills you. It brings a lot of sulfates to the cells. It oxidizes the cells, make it, make it, make it a free radical, bringing all this acidic blowback to the cells, messing up your cellular uh, integrity. But you see, if you go to nature, Skittles, they have a natural phenomenon created by God itself called anthocyanins. And it tastes better than regular Skittles. I'm just saying. And it heals the body. The body is amazing, family. The body is amazing. So again, so when you see that blue, it's cobalt mineral. When you see that red, it's iron and magnesium. And when you see that pink, it's fully magnesium, right? Now let's keep going. I want to show y'all how amazing anthocyanins is. Now check out what this says. This says anthocyanins, plant melanin, question mark. And you literally go to it. it. It tells you that they're unrelated, but they do the exact same thing in the body. They do the exact same thing in the body. You see that? And it shows you how anthocyanins and melanin share the same physiological and structural traits. You see that as well as exhibit some important differences. One of the two, melanin have been much more extensively studied. But now we're starting to get into anthocyanins and we see that it actually what? It actually protects 
And it's a free radical savenger. And it neutralizes free radicals. And it actually reverse age. Ain't that the same exact thing that melanin do? Not only does that, it works with chloroplats inside of the fruit skin and it converts sunlight. It goes through something called photosynthesis. How black people go through something called biosynthesis. So anthocyanins is doing the same things to plants. And that chloroplast is doing the plants that melanin is doing to me and you, family. Meaning we need to be eating that. Eat your melanin. You see that? Eat your melanin. Eat your water and eat your melanin. And what I mean by that is eat your fruits and drink the water that come from the fruit, family. I'm going to get a whole shirt that say that eat your melanin. Eat your melanin. Flat out. Matter of fact, y'all type that in the comment board. Eat your melanin. Yes, photosynthesis. Plants go through photosynthesis. And us, since we are a different entity and a different intelligence than plants, we go through something called biosynthesis. We are closely related to mushrooms than we are to plants. Uh, plants is like seven degrees away from us. We still are related to the plant kingdom, but we, are, we more assimilate the biochemical molecular structure of mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms at that, than we do with any other species on planet Earth, y'all. It's crazy. Our molecular structure is closer to mushrooms than it is to the primate gorillas. Look this. If y'all think I'm lying, this is common knowledge, y'all. Just eat this stuff. I mean, just uh, look this stuff up and it'll blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. Yeah, I got to get some shirts made like that, family. All right, let's see what else we got here. So this is why it behooves us to eat what, y'all? To eat our fruits, to eat our berries, and to eat our melanin or melon my bad all right what's this one right here now i wanted to show y'all this because this just blew my mind because this further proves my point y'all this is what i'm saying like and i'm not bragging i'm not bragging but ain't nobody messing with me when it comes to this i've been see all y'all think i just be making up shit and talking from the side of my neck because the knowledge is not common or y'all learned from another teacher that told y'all different from years and for many years and i'm not knocking you for that but see when i back my stuff up by scientific data i don't even you need to use my own scientific approach i can just use people that came before me and have a document this with clinical trials family they've been saying the same thing y'all don't understand alkaline and acids now inside of each fruit all of these fruits that I'm talking about, which is your berries, which is your mangoes, and which is your melons. These are the most healing hydrative fruits on planet Earth. Tell me why they, they are synthesized through something called acidic vacuolose. Acidic vacuolose. And it's a very acidic thing. The vacuolose cellular membrane. It says bind organelles. It says, or the largest compartments of cells occupying up to 90% of the volume of the plant cells. The vacuolose are formed by biosynthetic, uh, biosynthetic and endocytotic cytotic pathways. Now, this talking about the transport chain of the actual environment inside the intracellular uh, stability of the cell, right? So in order for these things to grow, it have to meet itself with alkaloid proteins and enzymes and acids to actually grow, right? Now, check this out. Why is it called acidic vacuolose? Look at this. Let me blow that up for y'all. It says maintain proper pH. The vacuolose keep the cytoplasma in the cell acidic so that the enzymes can break down into different molecules. You see that? The vacuolose lowers pH by moving protons. Remember I was just telling y'all that? By moving protons from the cells, cytosol, uh, into the vacuolose. So you can't even get these fruits without it going through an acidic process. Same thing as nitrates. Whenever you're trying to grow fruit or whenever you're trying to grow plants, notice what you have to do when you put that seed in the ground. You got to put your nitrates in it. A lot of people use ch chicken nitrates. A lot of people use another, another nitrates that come from the feces. Then you plant it, you water it, you let the sun hit that acid, and then an alkaline plant grows from it. But the alkaline plant ain't alkaline until you chew it and put it in your body. It's still acidic until it meets your metabolic processes inside of your body mixing with minerals mixing with amino acids being calmed down going through its intercellular what you call the interstitial electron chain support translation transcription then you get an alkaline forming food from there but most of your healing fruits if not all of them i know more than at least 98.9 percent .9 of them are acidic in nature and then they bring on a, 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 a alkaline property once you eat them and it goes through its metabolic change based off the electricity we talking about electricity here. 
That's all we're talking about. We're talking about minerals. Minerals generate electricity and it becomes a conductivity or conduit of electricity. Depending on the minerals that's left over is what make it alkaline or acid. So most of your fruits that heals the body or acidic until you eat them, then they become what? Alkaline forming. I'm just saying, family. That's, what, that's why biochemistry is important. See, somebody can just tell you anything. You can't just tell me shit. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna test. I'm gonna go to the laboratory. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at it under a thermal microscope. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put cells on a petri dish. I'm gonna take samples of your blood. I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna look at the structure, the mucous membrane around the cells. I'm testing shit. I'm testing everything. And if it ain't a laboratory that I can't get to that don't support it, I will pay somebody five grand just to test a little piece of it all day. I got a budget just for testing shit. So you can't just tell me something. I don't take nothing for face value. I test every, I question everything just like you should. We should all question these things because these things are very important to our bodies. Our, we only get one of these bodies while we end this. I mean, well, you get many. Let me not say it like that because that'd be contradictive. We only get one of them for right now. Let me say that. This experience is only going to be this experience inside of this vehicle. If I do reincarnate and come back and my consciousness seats itself into another personality and into another body, that experience is going to be different because my body going to be different. I ain't going to be able to move and walk and run like a, that's a different body. Hopefully I won't come back as a fat guy. I'm a, that reality most definitely ain't going to be right. That experience is going to be totally different. You see what I'm saying? So, so we only get to experience this in this exact experience one time. We need to know what we putting in our bodies. Quit just letting people tell you what's alkaline and what's not and what's this and no, no, no. Count every man a liar. Study to show thyself approved. Then we can talk. That's how you gotta do it. That's how you gotta do it. All right, let's get back to the presentation, family. Hold on. Let me get back to it for y'all. If y'all enjoying this uh, presentation right now, type in some nines. Let me know that you're enjoying it. Let me know that you're actually learning. If you're learning something and you're enjoying it, you know what I'm saying? Type in some nines. And let's get back to it. Yeah, <laughs> I know y'all. Y'all be having me weak too. Y'all laughing at me. I be laughing at y'all. Y'all sit here listening. Y'all sit up here and listen to me. So. <laughs> But I don't spit number facts, y'all. I will never tell you no lie. I will never, ever, ever tell you no lie. That's why I tell y'all to challenge my information. Try to prove me wrong. And that's why a lot of people love me. Because you you tried to prove me wrong and your ass turned out to be wrong. Now you can't get off my page. <laughs> you tried it, though. You tried to prove me wrong. You tried to call me a quack. You tried to call me fake. But it turned out to be the opposite. I really love my people. I never lie to you. Even if it hurts your feelings. All right, now check this out, family. This shows you. Now, remember that the anti the antioxidants like berries, like mangoes, like uh, melons, this will actually grow the telomeres and it'll keep you healthy and it'll keep your DNA structure uh, compactly put together perfectly. But things like smoking and its effect on telomeres and the shoelace caps of your DNA. Look at this. This shows you. From, this is from a smoker, y'all. Look this up. It's from biologicalscience.net. This, this was published and written by Matt Wood, November the 17th, 2016. Just Google this title. Look at the title. Look how the actual chromosomes is being disrupted in the cells because of smoke. Cigarette smoke, weed smoke, all types of smoke, y'all. Ain't no different smoke. Everybody be like, well, what about weed smoke? I do not recommend you smoke weed. You can take weed and use it as a tea. You can actually bake it into your foods and stuff like that. But the moment you put a fire to it, it changes the molecular structure and it actually messes with your brain and it synthesizes estrogen in man. I keep telling y'all that this is information you can just look up. So no smoking, nothing. Why would you want to harm your lungs like that anyway? And then what's crazy is it be smokers talking crap about drinkers. <laughs> You killing your lungs, he killing his liver. Why Why are you talking about the drinker like you healthier than him? You ain't healthier than him. He, You might just die quicker because you can get lung cancer 10 times faster than you can get liver cancer or cirrhosis of the liver. That's what I'm saying. So you had a nerve that's, I'm not, I don't drink, I just smoke. Oh, so you're polluting the thing that draws your very breath. You messing with the actual seat of the of 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 the uh of the ark of the covenant where you draw the breath from huh that's the neshama the breath the ruach hakodesh the spirit that you draw in 
Remember, he created Adam and then he breathed an Ashama into Adam nasal passage, the breath of life. And then Adam became a living soul. That's all by way of the lungs. That's your respiratory chain. That's the Ark of the Covenant. That's where that's where actually the Ten Commandments is held in. Or what we're going to call the Ten Molecules of DNA is really structured in. You would damage that, but then you would point a finger at somebody that drinks some liquor and look down on them. You killing yourself faster. Y'all both going to die. So we have to change our ideology, family. We have to change our ideology. Yeah, I know y'all don't like that because half of y'all over be smoking that weed. Y'all be y'all be smoking that marijuana. That's how you know I don't smoke. I call it marijuana. When somebody call it marijuana, they don't smoke it. Y'all be smoking them tweeds, them, that marijuana. <laughs> now, I don't drink or smoke. I don't drink or smoke. All right, now, check this out. Smoking. Yeah, I'm finna hurt some feelings today. It says, when smoking... Uh, it says when smoking behavior over the 16 years of a new study was incorporated into the into the analysis, the researchers found a clear link between smoking and shortened telomeres in both what man and women, although associations was much weaker for men. Uh oh. Much weaker for men when smoking status was measured near the time of the telomeres measurement. So at this time. Women was actually getting more cancer and killing their lungs and getting they getting they taller more shorter than men. Not saying men you can keep smoking because it said men and women. All right. Showing you that we have to stop smoking. And when you smoke and when you drink and when you eat acidic forming food, this is what it do. It ages you. There is no such thing as dying from old age. Aging is a disease. Say that with me, family. There is no such thing as dying from old age. Aging is a disease. Yes, bake your weed. Bake your weed. Make some alkaline cookies or something. Well, it ain't alkaline if you put heat to it. You know what I'm saying? Bake it. Do that. Uh, you can actually make weed tea, which is very, very good for you. You know what I'm saying? But the moment you put a flame to it, the moment you do this, you change the molecular structure of it. Same thing with your food, though. The moment you cook your food... You cook out the enzymes, you cook out the bioflavonoids, you cook out the biophotons, you cook out all the spiritual intelligence or quantum intelligence and emotional intelligence that's in your food. Yo, your food is emotionally intelligent. I can we can look up scientific government based articles to prove this stuff, y'all. See, it sounds like the boogeyman theory. It sounds taboo. It sounds pseudoscience, but this shit is real. And I've been talking about this for 10 years. Now they're finally producing the database to back up what I've been teaching y'all for 10 years. See that you can't call me a liar no more. And I was speaking this from my DNA. I was pulling this from my DNA. Now I have all the scientific proof backed by the government to back this stuff up. Now they're going to hide it in their universities. They're going to hide it in their articles. They're going to change up words that you got to look up 30 different definitions to see the real meaning of it. But they is putting it out there. See, the thing about the devil is the devil, he played by a certain universal code and a universal law where he have to let you know what he's doing. Or it have to let you know what it's doing. It can't just, it can't mind fuck you and blind and, and do it in a, in a way where you didn't see it coming. It tells you, it put it right. That's why they put all of their rituals on TV. Notice the BET awards. Notice the Grammys. They put the satanic rituals right in your face. See that? They show you what they doing. They put it right on the news. They put it right on the teller of visions. They put it right in your face. That way, when it's time to really face your higher self, you can't you can't say you didn't know. No, you knew. You just didn't want to know. You you overlooked that. You knew what you was eating for wrong, was wrong. You knew it made your body feel bad, but you st you kept eating it anyway. You knew drinking that didn't make you feel good, but you kept drinking it anyway. For for instance, people that's alcoholic, you drink you you feel good for ten minutes, but then you wake up shitting, throwing up with an ill stomach, and you feel miserable. But you knew that before you kept drinking. That's called insanity. We want to die. We live in a death culture. We Everything is about death. We buy in death. We watch in death. We live in death. We listen to death. We got death in our relationships. Nothing around us as a people is growing. And we don't understand why. Because this this been systematically oppressed and put on us. So I'm just here to tell you, hey, what the, what's, that, what's that thing? The British are coming. How you ran through the town on the horse, ringing the bell. The British, are, I'm him. I'm telling it. I'm here telling my people everything that's going on, yelling the British are coming, the war is at our doorstep, wake the fuck up. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here to do. All right, so look, we are dying. Aging is a disease. Look, you are rusting. So your body is going through oxidative stress. 
That's it. Now, free radicals. We have to understand what a free radical is. So a free radical is a type of unstable molecule that is made during the normal cell metabolism. Chemical changes that take place in the cell. Free radicals can build up a, in a cell and cause damage to other molecules, such as what, y'all? DNA, such as lipids. Lipids is what, y'all? That's the oil or what you would call the fatty acids in the proteins, proteins, or what you would call simple amino acid structures. So we see that a free radical is an unstable molecule that sits around in the cells and just ping pong the cell to death. It, look, we done seen free radicals even kill parasites inside a cell. These things are so, un, they like atomic bombs. They're so unstable inside of the cell. It, we studied the cancer cell probably like a year ago. We seen the actual cancer cell get all this, in, uh, get all this inside. All the organelles was being ate up by uh, a Fasciolopsicus buski inside of the cancerous cells. But we noticed that the cell was unstable. We wondering what the hell this thing is ping ponging its way around the cell on this electrical microscope. And it was a damn free radical it killed the damn parasite so you literally have an atomic bomb waiting to blow up in your cells to disintegrate your cells and you remember all your cells have a timing on them it's a biological clock where they supposed to die at a specific time for you can repopulate and reproduce cells what happened if you got a damn atomic bomb just in there just killing shit before it's supposed to die this is what you call apoptosis cellular death now your dna starts unraveling then you die it's crazy y'all it's crazy. Now, this remember I showed y'all an atom? This is a normal atom. Y'all see that? That the atoms, the protons and the electrons are actually on the actual spear. They're actually on it. Now, look, remember, loss of electron. Leo, loss of electrons equal oxidations or equals free radical. Look, it's unstable. It's unstable. It didn't win it jacked them. It didn't win it jacked electron. The protron and went and jacked the electron for, for charge. Now, all of a sudden, it broke off. So now it's not on its orbit no more. This deal done moved off course. This is what you would call a rogue soldier that's, that love killing. We got to go get his ass because he going to go kill people. For, he just going to be killing people that ain't a target. So we got to get him and we got to put him back because it's a free radical. It's going to mess up the rest of the cell. Guess who go get this rogue co uh, soldier? Uh-oh, antioxidants, anthocyanins. Anthocyanins is going to go apprehend him and put his ass back in jail. It's going to put his ass back on the actual orbit, on the course. That's what you would call an antioxidant. And that's what your fruits, that's what your berries, and that's what your melons are there for. All right. Show y'all again. Here go another one showing y'all real quick just how this works. Y'all see that? This is the nucleus. Y'all see the orbit shell. Y'all see how everything is paired? Everything is paired, right? On the outward orbit cell. Then now we got an unpaired one. We got an unpaired one. Oh, we. Because this is oxidation. Guess what he going to do? He going to start trying to borrow, borrow charges. Now he going to try to. This is a man trying to rob a woman. Give me your purse. Give me your purse. Give me some of that. Let me get some. And then the moment she give it up, it makes her unstable. Now you got a combustion with inside of the cell. That's how you know that your body is amazing and that your body is electrical. Your body is something else, y'all. Do you know each individual cell in your body have 0.07% uh, of electricity in them? And you have 150 trillion cells. If you add that all up together, you produce more electricity in your body than the worst lightning storm that, that, that can ever happen on this realm, y'all. You are a walking chemical complex, family. That's how powerful you are. But we just have to unlock it by tapping in. We not tapping in because we doing everything else and we distracting and we not getting to know who we truly are. These are just the facts. So let me show y'all. So an antioxidant grabs the charge from the free radical. Because remember, the free radical stole the charge from the healthy cell. So this is the cycle. So we see a healthy cell doing its thing. Then we see the free radical, like, give me that charge. Then we see the antioxidant, which is my anthocyanins, my berries, which is my mangoes and my melons. It's like, oh, hell no, give me that back. And then what this do is it go back to the cell and give it back its charge. That's literally how this thing go. And I hope that I'm making biochemistry simple for y'all to truly, truly understand. If I'm making this simple for y'all to understand, overstand, and understand, type in some nines for me. Yes, book coming in July, Healing the Illusion We Call Disease. Book coming in July. Written by Yaki Raphael or Yaka Raphael Elohim. Facts. Going to be the best book to ever hit this nation, y'all. I'm telling you, it's, it's so mind-blowing. 
It is so, and I'm proving all things in this book. This book will literally change the way we look at the genome. It will change the way we look at genetics. It will change the way white people view black people and, and, and black people view themselves. The doctors ain't going to be able to come and just treat you with the regular 40-year-old Caucasian statistics no more. Because I'm proving that our molecular structure is different. I'm proving that our, our, our mineral bioavailability is different. I'm proving that our microbiota is different. Our microbiome is different. Our immunological system system is different. I'm proving all, I mean, proving this with hard core science and facts, y'all. Paperwork, I mean, clinical trials. This is going to change the whole dynamic of healing to the indigenous people of America and worldwide, family. And it's a bunch of nuggets in there too. If you're not melanated, you are still able to read that book and pick the jewels from it and heal your body. I mean, this is going to be the best thing popping since forever, man. And I just can't wait. I just want to take my time. I don't want to rush it because I don't want to miss nothing. All right. Now, this shows you oxidative stress. Now, what this does to the body when it weakens the telomeres, it causes cancer, vision loss, heart disease, arthritis, stroke, respiratory diseases, immune deficiency, emphysema, Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease, fast aging, obesity, hair loss, and other inflammatory diseases and conditions. Look at a normal cell. Then it goes and be attacked by a free radical, and this is how the cell starts looking. This is why you can see a beautiful tomato, and then it goes through its oxidative stress, and then it looks like this. Or another one, what about your, uh, your greens? You can make a salad, and you leave that salad sitting out for two hours. You come back, the salad brown as hell. Why is the salad so brown? Because it went through oxidative stress. It was free radicals that got set up with inside a molecular structure. But you can take one of the most powerful antioxidant fruits on planet Earth, and I'm saying it, the lemons, the most powerful, one of the most powerful antioxidant fruits on planet Earth, the lemon, the lemon. Yes, the lemon, powerful, y'all. Do I got to do a lecture on that? Do I get? Do I got to show y'all how that work on, on a Petri dish? Do I got to show you what it does into the uh, metabolic interactions inside the body? And that's why people use, especially the Italians, they like to put lemon and lime juice on their salads, on, on their salads. I know I'm from St. Louis, so I say salads like salads, but I'm trying to say salads. Your greens, they pull it on their greens. And what this does is it literally preserves the electron chain with inside of the uh, the atom me uh, uh, molecule with inside of the salad. So the salad won't turn brown. That's the reason why if you make a salad, you put lemons or you put key limes or limes on them. That way you can save the salad because it acts as a natural preservatives and it won't damage the DNA of the salad and the salad won't start turning brown and you got to throw it away. Now, for instance, what is a fast antioxidant fruit, y'all? Give me a fast one. Give me a fruit that turns brown. You can have it for a day, and that deal turns brown. It goes through oxidative stress. Somebody give me. Matter of fact, we're going to do some quizzes, and I'm going to give out some three bitters again. Give me a fruit, somebody. What is a fruit that, okay, avocados as well. That's right, Cape Niga. Yes, avocados. Give me another one, y'all. Avocado goat, that's that's right, KPM Blizz, bananas, that's right, apples, apples when you cut them, though. That's, see, y'all already on it. So these things have unstable electrons. So type that in. Apples, avocados, and bananas have unstable electrons. And that's why you can't eat certain of these things when you're cleansing. Notice the uh the the actual lecture or what I would call the interview that I did with 19 Keys. I said, if you cleansing, I don't recommend you eat no banana. I don't recommend you eat no avocado. And there's certain apples that I don't recommend you eating because they rust too fast. They rusting factor is so fast. As soon as you put it in your body, now it's turning a city. You see that? Yes, pears too. Pears too, but pears you can still eat. Most apples you can still eat when you cleanse it. But them super ones that create the starchy antioxidant stress, like the uh, like the uh, mucus forming avocado and like the mucus forming banana, these are starch forming foods. You stay away from them when you cleanse, especially from herpes because they have high arginine and they have you popping canker sores everywhere. 
But don't get it twisted though. Avocados are good for you. Bananas are good for you. They're just not good for you when you're detoxing from an ailment or a disease. So, so don't take my words and flip them upside down. They are good for you. They just not good for you when they're going through that type of phase. Now, most of your apples are good for you and all of your pears are good for you when you're doing that. Because and remember, they're breaking down fast anyway because you're already going on a, a, a certain type of meat fast. You ain't eating meat. You're getting rid of dairy products, carbonic acid, lactic acid, uric acid. So you stand away from the gnarly greens. You stand away from the gnarly beans. You stand away from the gnarly grains. So when you eat these things, even though they oxidate oxidize real fast and they lose an electron real fast before they turn acidic you already pooping them out and you getting the hill of constituents you need to go to the blood capillaries to get transported to each individual cell of your body to rebuild your cellular me molecular structure so you you cool with that but if you if you fasting and you and you ain't eliminating and your kidneys ain't filtrating you best stay away from the bananas and them avocados family straight up yeah I don't recommend prunes. I don't recommend prunes, especially in this dry state. I I love honey, especially manuka honey. That's the only honey I eat. I'm going to show y'all my manuka honey real quick, and then we're going to get back to the lesson. Kawhi, how long I been live? This the only honey I eat. Let me show y'all. See that manuka honey? I need to make my own, my own kind. I love Manuka honey. I see you back there, woman. <laughs> so, no, I'm not vegan. I'm not a vegan. I am plant-based. I eat things that come from a plant. I don't eat meat. I don't eat dairy products. I don't eat cheese. I don't eat none of that stuff. Most of my food is raw. I still do eat cooked foods, too. No, I'm actually in my storefront now. It's kind of dirty, y'all, but I'll show it off real quick. It's kind of dirty. I see a lot of y'all been buying this tooth and gun powder lately, healing y'all mouths. I'm going to do a quiz at the end of this live and give away some herbs. We just got back in town a couple days ago, so I got all my camera equipment. Y'all know we shooting at, uh, we shooting them, uh, the, the documentary series. We shooting the documentary series for Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and all of that. So, yeah, y'all y'all know what it is. Yes, Manuka. All right, let's get back to this. Because I want to answer this man's question. I'm going to get up out of here. How long I been live, y'all? I was only supposed to go short on that, but y'all know I get to getting into that biochemistry, man. That, that does something to me. All right, let me put y'all up here real quick, and then we're going to answer these questions. All right, I'm going to answer one question on here, and then we're going to get up out of here. All right, it says, uh, respectfully and lovely, I appreciate you. Good day, y'all key. Make sure y'all got y'all pens and y'all pads. I'm going to show y'all how to heal this particular case real fast. This actually was on uh, Instagram, and I wanted to start answering a few Instagram questions. I know Zy. What's up, love? <laughs> she told us well, all of my stuff is longer than an hour. I know. When y'all got y'all pins and y'all pads ready, let me know. Yeah, I'm this the clinic, y'all. I'm at the clinic. I got two clinics. Well, I got two spots. One is where I'm at right now, and the other one is closer to uh my home. But they both in St. Louis. <laughs> Whatever, Kayla. <laughs> An hour and a half. Okay. All right. So let's get it. Now check this out. It says I have high blood pressure and I'm on medication. So I need to know what medication you want, uh, sister. Uh, Pre-diabetic. I have high cholesterol. My kidneys are failing and I have kidney issues. I have acid reflux. I'm anemic. Man. Sleep problems. I only sleep three hours max per night. Liver spots that's reoccurring, scarring alopecia, permanent hair loss. No such thing as permanent hair loss, sister. I'm going to show you. Gout. Whew, you're going through a lot, sister. 
beginning to become very forgetful. No body hairs nor eyelashes grown. I suffer from bone loss in my teeth, toenail fungus, thick, thick toenails. What treatment do I need? What would you recommend? Problem problems or in order of treatment priority. No, you can't you can't do that, sister. You can't like make your own treatment priority. Uh healing is holistic. One is not worse than the other. All of it is having a, a detriment to the body. You see what I'm saying? All of it is. So we going and it's holistic healing. I just can't heal you from one thing first. We're gonna go after this systemically, uh simultaneously. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It says on your site, you indicated that all orders must be done through a member. Yes, you're a member. The moment you go on the website and you click uh, agree, you become a virtual member. You can buy. So you don't have to actually sign up for a membership. Just go on the website. This little uh, disclaimer going to pop up. Just click you agree. You're able to shop and buy whatever you want. It says all orders must. It says on your site, you indicated that all orders must go through a member. If I wanted to order, how do I become a member through whom can I place my order? You can go on there right now. Grateful for your response. Peace, love, light, healing. Peace to you, goddess. We're going to show you how to get rid of this suit. But you can go on the website now, www.yakiawaken.com. Just click on that uh, acceptance tab once that disclaimer pop up, and you can buy whatever you need to do off of the website. All right. So now her first thing is high blood pressure. Now, we know when you're dealing with high blood pressure, you're dealing with what? You're dealing with the kidneys and the adrenals. We're dealing with something called the cardio output. And what the cardio output is, matter of fact, here goes something right here. So, and we go through this a lot, but, you know, just for the sake of learning and healing. So you're dealing with the adrenals and the kidneys. Adrenals, they're the size of walnuts. They shape like pyramids and they sit on top of the kidneys. This is your cardio output. This is actually what's in control of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system or what you call the autonomic nervous system. These things is what governs your melanin neurotransmitter and actually tell the heart valve, not the pump, the pump is the lungs, but the heart valve to open up and to release more volume of blood or to actually close and decrease more volume of blood. Now, if this is out of whack and it is telling the actual cardio output to open up this valve mechanism more. Let me find a heart clock and show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is a heart. Now, you see you got the aortas. You got the myocardium of the heart. Now, imagine the actual adrenal glands sending a melanin neurotransmitter signal to the aorta valve and to the veins of the actual heart and telling it to increase the blood. And how it does that is through the myocardium and through the chambers of the heart, it tell it to open up more by the centronails. So when the centronail tell it to open up more, now more blood is flowing and pumping through the veins and through the arteries walls more. Now this is what happens. Once that happens, what happens is you start getting dehydrated and you start dehydrating the vessels or the veins and the arteries, which cause the arteries to close up more. Let me find an artery for y'all. Uh, let me show y'all this. Oh, here go arteries right here. So here go some arteries, right? This is an artery. Notice that it's, that it's open, right? And then you start going through them and they start closing. You see, they, see how these arteries are closing? Build up with cholesterol, build up with plaque. Or sometimes they just actually get dehydrated and they start the elasticity of the cell starts to shrink. Now, imagine you trying to move blood. See how blood is trying to move, but it's all clogged in and it's pressing against the arteries. This is what raises the blood pressure. You see that? And then it all is talking about the, 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 the uh, per beats per second and per minute. So imagine your heart is constantly doing this. It's not beating. It's just a chamber that opens up and closed, opens up and closed. In the back of it, you actually have electricity feeding it by way of the adrenal glands, telling it how much volume of blood to output. It's called the cardiac output. And it's, it's out of whack because you're not feeding it the right foods. You're not, you're not keeping it on alkaline foods. So it's mucus built up. It's cholesterol built up. It's acidosis attacking this area because the kidneys is made to filtrate. But if the kidneys is not filtrating by acetylcholine, what happens is that the acids and the acidosis start building up on the kidneys. Well, if it's building up on the kidneys, what's the next blowback? It's going to hit the adrenal glands. So now the adrenal glands is being going through acidosis and being burnt. So now the electricity and the melanin neurotransmitter 
neurotransmitters that's actually being produced by the adrenal glands is not communicating with the cardio output of the heart right. So it's telling the heart misinformation. So now the heart is opening up the heart valves and, and flushing blood out of there. Then it's closing it. Then it's opening it and it's doing it again. After a while, all this back and forth is going to wear and tear on the artery wall and on the veins. So what's going to happen is that elasticity of the veins is going to be de dehydrated of all this H3O. So this is how the veins get shorter and shorter. Now, whenever this happens, remember, we got acidosis. So you got mucus that's going to come in and you got calcium that's going to come in. Y'all know when acids meet mucus and calcium, crystallization come in. So now you got cholesterol plaque starting to build up on the arteries and the vein walls. Now the blood can't get in, so it's going to press itself against the walls while it's trying to move throughout the body. Now it look like this. This is what you call high blood pressure. High blood pressure leads to stroke and heart attack because eventually this gets fully closed and clogged and blood cannot make it through the pathways no more. So we see what we have to pay attention to. We got to go after the adrenal glands and fix the adrenals. Well, how do you go after the adrenal glands? You have to fix the kidneys. Now, remember, the top part of the adrenals is called what? Systolic. That's the top number, which is supposed to be, let me write it down for y'all, which is supposed to be at a 120, all right? We're going to say 118 to 120. 118 to 120. All right, that's called systolic. These are the adrenal glands. The bottom part is what? It's supposed to be 70. But for black people, for indigenous Americans, we're going to say 80. It can be at 80. All right? So this is systolic. This is diastolic. Diastolic is your renal function or what you would call your kidneys. Systolic is your adrenal glands. Now, how do you do that? You have to start filtering the lymphatic system because all the acids is backing up inside of the nephrons of the kidneys. These are nephrons. And inside these nephrons is full of acidosis and they're being damaged. Now, remember, the kidneys are not only in control of blood pressure, but it's in control of pressurizing water and salt and potassium inside the bodies, inside the cells as well. So we need to check potassium. You probably got too much potassium in your body and you your body probably stripped of manganese. You see what I'm saying? So now the, the kidneys, the Diastolic is not working right, backing all the acids up. The blowback is hitting the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands is not only in control of your cardio output and your blood flow, but it's in control of your sugars. It's in control of your steroids. It's in control of all the utilization processes within inside the body. So if you need to convert minerals and turn them into enzymes, that's not happening. If you need steroids and cholesterol to go heal a patch in the body, that's not happening no more. Cholesterol is just doing what the hell it want to do. It's getting stuck in arteries, getting stuck in the vena cava. Now all the elasticity of your cells is being corroded and clogged up because whenever you got calcium that meets acidity and this acid meets mucus crystallizations or solidification happen solidification of the artery wall brings on plaque plaque deprived the cells of oxygen and water constricting and uh, constricting the cells keeping it from dilating now what blood can't make it through but if blood don't make it through you a short circuit they call this a stroke or they call it an aneurysm so if blood don't make it through which most of the time it does now I gotta push through so imagine Imagine pushing blood through a hole this small. That's going to raise the what? The biometric pressure of the vessels. So this biometric pressure raises the blood, the, 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 uh, the, the BP and the cardio output. And then now that's what you call high blood pressure. So the first thing you have to do is realize I said that dehydration is what's causing it. Hydrate the body. H3O2. Get you some coconut waters. Go on an all fruit juice diet. Do not juice your grapes though. Get your anthocyanin game up. We're talking about it. Anthocyanin, anthocyanins. Get on fruits, berries, and melons. Make sure you're eating it, hydrating the body. Because the one thing I see is solidification and calcification, you can break that up. How you break it up? You use hydrative factors. Same thing. I tell you all the time. If it's a stain on the floor, right? What you going to use to get that stain up? You might use a little chemicals and a little agents, but you're going to go get some waters to mix that in a mop bucket. Or you're going to put some water on there. Then you're going to move the mop. Because water breaks up shit. See that? So that's how you get all of that solidification and calcification up out of the arteries, hydrating the body. Next thing is you need to pay attention to the adrenal glands and the kidneys. I tell y'all what the adrenal gland herbs is all the time. Now, since you have hypertension, you can't eat no uh, licorice root because it'll kill you dead as a doorknob. So stay away from licorice root. But ashwagandha and wild yam root. This will be very, very good for you. Ashwagandha, wild yam root. Now we got to address the kidneys. What is your best kidney herbs? Your best kidney herbs will be cleaver's leaf. Your best 
skinny herbs would be juniper berries. Notice that purple, dark anthocyanin pigmentation, melanin pigmentations on juniper berries. That's good. It's an antioxidant and it will open up your kidneys and your elimination pathways. You got cleaver's uh, leaf. You got cleaver's roots. You got plantain leaf and you have parsley. Parsley is very, very good. Now, you have an herb, amazing herb that breaks up calcification. It's called hydrangea root. Hydrangea root is amazing when it comes to breaking up solidification and calcification. So you can use that to break these things up while you're on your solid food vacation and hydrating the body. That will get your kidneys and your adrenals back online. Now we got to start adding more herbs in to start moving the lymphatic system, getting all the toxemia that we've been building up inside of our system out of, out of our bodies. But your blood pressure would have been regulated itself within seven days if you, if you got on my herbs. So just off of that alone, off of high blood pressure, I would recommend that you get my blood builder and iron nourisher kit or you get my kidney and adrenal kit from off the website. So what I would do is I would start with the kidney adrenal kit, to be honest with you. The blood and iron nourisher builder kit do come with more herbs in it, but I think the kidney and adrenal kit will have you cool on here. But we looking, you you pre-diabetic as well. So now we got to talk about the, pra the pancreas and we got to talk about your glycemic index. Make sure that you're not eating food that raises your glycemic index real high. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance, grains like spelt, bulgur, wheat, all these things raises your glycemic index to 72 within a couple of minutes, so within 30 minutes. So stay away from gnarly grains. You see what I'm saying? Make sure you're staying away from processed sugars like donuts and candies and stuff like that. And damn sure don't be drinking no sodas or no uh uh carbo uh or or no uh uh uh, carbonated beverages because all these things, the, the sucrose and the maltose and the destrose, all this sugar with inside of there is hard to break down because these are what you will literally call polysaccharides and our body is not made to eat polysaccharides, which is complex sugars. Our body is made to eat monosaccharides, which is simple single sugars to break down and turn it into fructose and glucose so we can yield ATP. You see what I'm saying? So, so make sure you get up off of these things. And we have to look at the uh, pancreas. And when you look at the pancreas, you have something inside the pancreas that's called the islands of Langerhans. This is the spleen. Uh, this is the duodenum, this nine-inch uh, nine intestinal tract. This is the gallbladder. And these are the blood vessels feeding this thing. The pancreas is in control over 4,000 enzymic reactions in the body. The pancreas is not only the most important, but it's the most active digestive organ with inside of the body. This right here is called the islands of Langerhans. Inside the islands of Langerhans, you have these cells. Uh, you have the alpha cells. The alpha cells produces glucagon, uh, which raises glucose in the blood. You have the beta cells. The beta cells produces something called insulin, which lowers the blood in the cells, or it actually acts as a key mechanism to open the cell up to drop off glucose for ATP reductase, or you have something called the delta cells. The delta cells create something called simeotostatin, and this is a pituitary growth hormone. So you have to figure out what's going on. Is these being eaten by acids? Is it a parasite in there? So now we got to start eliminating. I'm going to automatically deworm you and put you on a parasite elimination kit, just in case it's a canker worm or a hook worm or a fluke worm, fasciolopsis boosi, toxioplasma, some type of uh, pleomorphic biological entity inside of the pancreas. I'm going to have to kill it off. So I'm going to automatically put you on my parasite elimination kit, period, to make sure I'm deworming you. While I'm deworming you, now I got to worry about the electric part. So I'm going after the adrenals because it could be that the melanin neurotransmitters, not only is it not uh, connecting with your heart and causing your high blood pressure, but it's not connecting to your beta cells and telling your beta cells, A, be a key and unlock the cellular membrane for I can get glucose into the cells for I can get ATP. You see what I'm saying now? Since I know that that's not happening, I bet you that you're building up fungus too. You're building up fungus and you're building up sugars and you're fermentating a lot because you're not getting glucose within the cellular membrane quick enough. So guess what that sugar's going to do? It's going to ferment. And that's where you get toenail fungus from, fingernail fungus from, and that's why you said you had toenail fungus. So we have to fix things like that. Now, in order to go after the pancreas, you have to go after each individual endocrine gland inside of the body. We have something called the essential glandular kit on the website. But look, I done offered you four types of different kits and one because you have so many different types of diseases going on. So what we're going to have to do is mesh these kits together and create something called a geogenetic therapeutic package to help you out here. Now, remember, whenever it comes to the endocrine system, you have to go after the berry kingdom. Berries, berries, berries. Berries are good for the seven computer stimulators in your body or what we're going to call the endocrine system or the glandular highway, or some people actually call the seven chakras, and it's good for the neurological functioning. So berries, juniper berries, hawthorn berries, uh, cassandra berries, vitex berries, chase berries, 
goji berries without the halls. There's so many different berries that I got on my herbal shelves out there that'll blow your mind. But you're gonna need these berries not only for the isothio uh, for the uh for the anthocyanins, but you're gonna need them for the an anti antioxidant properties too, for it can make its way to the brain and make its way to the to the actual pancreas and start healing. I have never seen any neurological disease get done on vegetable, get healed off ve vegetables, and I've never seen any neurological disease get done off of just fruits missing berries. You have to have berries whenever you're trying to heal any type of neurological disease. And your neurological di diseases is diabetes. A neurological disease is high blood pressure because now you're messing with the melanin neurotransmitters that's telling these organs what to do. See, this is holistic healing. We just can't heal one without the other. We got to go after the whole entire uh, mechanism to heal the body. Then you said you have acid reflux. Now, why do you have acid reflux? See, acid reflux, that means you're missing magnesium and that door is not closing. You have to keep that door closed called the cardiac sphincter. And let me grab this real quick. You got to keep that door closed. Let me show you all the cardiac sphincter real quick. Take off the lungs. All right, let's take off the heart. Let's take off the liver. Now, I want to show y'all something. So when you look right here, we got the stomach, right? Now, the stomach is connected to this non-inch intestinal tract called the duodenum. But the top of the stomach or what you'll call the fungus of the stomach. You got the fundus of the stomach, the atrium of the stomach. I mean, the body of the stomach, then the atrium of the stomach, or what they call the pyloric pylorus part of the stomach that leads to the pyloric sphincter. But you have something called the cardiac sphincter that's connected to the esophagus. And what happens is the cardiac sphincter, the reason why it's called a cardiac, because it's close to the heart. This door is supposed to be closed. If not, what happens is you start getting hydrochloric acid from the stomach to build back up. And this is what this do is it chews away at the actual esophagus. Some people think that they are having a heart attack from it. And this is what a chewed up esoph esophagus actually look like, y'all. This is the esophagus. Look how chewed up it is. Look at all the acids. Look at all the polyps in there. Look at the acid, how it chewed through the tissues. So if you look at a stomach, a stomach look like this. This is, this is the end of the stomach, and it goes into this area. Now you got all this hydrochloric acid coming up in the stomach and it's chewing away at the esophagus. This can feel like an actual heart attack. So you need magnesium to actually close this door that's called the cardiac sphincter. So we need to get you some magnesium. So I can tell you right now that you're mineral deficient. But the good thing about... Y'all key herbs is we have all the minerals that you need inside of them. What am I sitting on? I'm sitting on lungs and everything, y'all. We have everything that you need inside of them. So, I mean, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm saying a level one, geogenetic therapeutic level one package. Now, look, y'all, she's severely anemic. So, look, anemic. Remember I was telling y'all that something governs the mineral utilization in the body? Remember we was talking about the adrenal gland? So I know her issue is neurological. Her issue is electrical because she can't even utilize her minerals. I'm pretty sure that she got minerals. They probably just sitting up in her liver, turning into Billy Rubin because they're not being utilized by electricity and going throughout the bloodstream, being used as hemoglobin for iron, for uh, oxygen can grab onto hemoglobin and it can go through its ATP uh, synth uh, synthesis. You see what I'm saying? So, so now it's back to the adrenals again. So high blood pressure, adrenal problem. Uh, Pre-diabetic, adrenal problem. Uh, high cholesterol. Cholesterol is created by the liver. It's created by the liver, y'all. And it's 80% of it's created in the body. It is used to create the cellular membrane of each individual cells. Cholesterol is so important to the body. HDL cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and VLDL cholesterol is amazing for the body. And you need it to fire off neuro melanin neurotransmitters. See that? So it, it acts as a transportation system. So you have high cholesterol because cholesterol is a buffering system too. Because cholesterol and mucus is damn near the same thing. And they have something called calcium there that buffer out acids. So look, this go back to the adrenals as well. Acid reflux. That's a mineral problem. You're not utilizing minerals because the adrenals down. That's adrenals as well. Uh, anemic. You're not utilizing iron phosphate. That's a mineral. You're not utilizing it because the adrenals are gland down. Look, sleeping problems. Uh-oh, how do you go to sleep? That's the pituitary gland. What helps stimulate the pituitary gland? What helps put you in the awakening and the sleep pattern? We just talked about this yesterday. Huh? What, bring, what keeps melatonin and serotonin at bay in the system? 
What utilizes hormones in the body? Uh-oh, the adrenal glands. So I bet you you're very adrenal fatigue. I bet you if I checked your adrenal gland and I did a full CBC chart on you, your adrenals are down. Now you got liver spot, spots reoccurring and you have alopecia. We already know that alopecia is severely acidic, severe acidosis. Then it says beginning to come very forgetful. That's your brain. You probably got a lot of mucus built up in your maxillary cavities that you got to drain. You have to cleanse your glymphatic system. Losing hair, bone loss, and teeth. Now, what, look, what kills and corrode teeth, y'all? Do alkalinity kills and corrode the teeth or the bones or the enamel of the teeth or acidosis do? Answer that for me, y'all. Answer that. Is, is it alkalinity or is it acidosis? What is so destructive and gnarly in nature that it will chew away the teeth enamel? Somebody give it to me. Alkalinity or acidosis? Who got it? That's right, family. Acidosis. Acids is the only thing that can do that to teeth. Look at that. Chewing it down. Chewing the gum lines. Inflammation of the gum lines. Receding the gum lines. Acid corrodes things like that. That's acidity. That's acids. So we see that you got to get off an acid diet. You have to get off the acid diet. And then toenail fungus. And I told you where the fungus is coming from. I bet you get a lot of uh, reoccurring yeast infections too. Yeast and fungus build up because you're not utilizing your sugars because the adrenals are down. So you're going to need a whole entire geogenetic therapeutic package. I say geogenetic therapeutic package level three all day from off my website. Uh, to break all of these down for those that's not dealing with all of this, just only dealing with one or the other. Uh, if you got high blood pressure, always do the kidney and adrenal kit. Sometimes we do recommend uh, blood builder iron nourisher kit, but the kidney and adrenal kit because that's really your problem, systolic and diastolic. If you pre-diabetic, always get the, uh, it's called the, uh, the uh, spleen and pancreas support kit. If you have high cholesterol, again, you're going to have to go after the kidneys and adrenal. That's another kidney and adrenal kit. If you have kidney failure, that's a whole entire level one. Whenever you're dealing with kidney issues, we got to go after them kidneys super, super hard. That's a level one. Acid uh, reflux, we don't really need to give you nothing for acid reflux. You need to give you minerals. So anything you get off of my website have actual uh, magnesium and magnesi and manganese in there to help you close that cardiac sphincter. Other than that, quit eating acidic forming foods. Quit eating after 6 o'clock. When you eat, make sure you lay on your, your left side. Always elevate yourself on your left side. Don't sit up to go to sleep. I mean, don't lay completely down to go to sleep and don't lay on the wrong side because that's going to keep that door open and you're going to start leaking hydrochloric acid anyway. Uh, whenever you're dealing with anemia or anemic, when you when you truly anemic, now that is the blood builder and iron nourisher kit all day. Uh, sleeping problems, I just said that uh, with the hydrochloric acid, that will be the same one. Uh, liver spots and liver, that will be a geogenetic level one all day. Uh, scarring, alopecia, geogenetic level two. I mean, you got a bunch of acids built up. It has built up to the point where it's even in your brain now. So we got to get rid of that. Uh, be beginning to become very forgetful. That's your berries. We got Vitamax T for that. We got Vitamax capsules. All of that is berries. It's a berry blend, a very mix that I got that is powerful, that help you bring neurological functionings and mobility uh, back to your neurological expression. Uh, and teeth, my tooth and gum powder for the teeth. That will regrow your gums and everything. I healed my teeth. I did not go to a dentist. I healed cavities and everything with my own blend called the tooth and gum powder. And then the toenail fungus, again, we're going to go back to the kidney and adrenal kit but since you have all these things going on at one off i would say all fruit diet but you got toenail fungus so we'll say an all raw diet uh we can do 80 percent fruits 20 percent berries out of that 80 percent fruits 20 percent of that i mean 80 percent fruits 20 percent vegetables out of that 80 percent fruits 20 percent of that 80 percent needs to be berries, 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 anthocyanins, anthocyanins, anthocyanins. The reason why I'm saying go all raw and keep vegetables in there is because we don't want you to build up too more, more too much more sugar while your adrenals are still offline because now you're going to start seeing ringworms and mold spores come from up out of your skin. Sometimes you might even get a few molds that grow out of nowhere because molds is nothing but lost carbon with inside of the body trying to make its exit from the body. It's what beauty marks and molds is. It's why the Africans call it a beauty mark because they seen melanin protruding itself from the skin trying to get out of the blood because the body was producing a lot of melanin. That's why we call them beauty marks. That means you, your melanin is popping when you see moles and stuff. All right. So that's what I recommend you to do. Uh, all raw diet. Make sure that you're juicing. 
at least 32 ounces of uh, fruit juice a day. Make sure you're mixing it up with your green juices. You can add some H2O in there to keep the balance if you want because, again, we don't want too much sugar in your body because you're not metabolizing the sugar correctly. You do that, and you do that with that Geogenetic Level 3 package. Uh, you're going to have a total different letter in a couple months. This letter ain't going to say, ain't going to sound, the letter going to be, thank you, Yaki. I thank God for you, Yaki. It's straight up. So that's what I recommend. All right, y'all, look, I've been on here for about two, three hours at least. I'm going to get up out of here. The three foods that you need to dramatically, drastically change your health right now, which would be what, y'all? Your berries, antioxidants, anthocyanins. Yes, your melons, antioxidants, anthocyanins, and your uh, actual mangoes, antioxidants, anthocyanins. These things are antioxidants. They bring oxygen to the brain, meaning they're oxygenators. They actually reverse your aging. They keep your telomeres on top on top of your chromosome very, very tight. They actually keep the integrity of your DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid, giving you the right genetic information and codes. And these three superfoods will save your life. Uh, start now when you wake up. And, and, and that sun, the highest in the sky, make sure you add at least one of these things to your plate, to your servings. With that being said, I love y'all. You need any herbs, www.yakiawaken.com. I will never ask you for money over the web. I don't do readings. I only have uh, two Instagrams. It's the Instagram I'm live on right now, which is Yaki Awakened. And the one I'm following, I have over two, 270,000 followers, and I'm only following four people. I'm, uh, I have one page on Facebook actually called Yaki Hickman. I have no other pages on Facebook. I have one YouTube called Yaki Awaken, which is about 73,000 followers now. And uh, I got one Twitter. The only thing I got two pages on is Instagram, and I'm actually following that page. I don't DM anybody. So if somebody messaging you with my picture, it is not me. And I will never take your money and ask you for money on social media. I love y'all family. Mishpati, Ani have a thigh or a thumb. I love y'all. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Peace.